Good afternoon. Today's video is going to be on protecting mailboxes, OneDrive, Teams, and SharePoint in 365. First, we're going to get in the tenant. We're going to hit Manage Services. It'll bring us over to the Backup Console, and we're going to go down to Devices, and then you're going to scroll down to 365, and you'll be able to see all of your content, OneDrive, Teams, SharePoint, and email. Now for um, email itself, you can back the mailboxes and shared mailboxes, including mailboxes of users on a kiosk plan and mailboxes on uh, litigation hold, group mailboxes, public folders. For OneDrive, you can back up user files and folders. And at SharePoint, you can back up the classic site collections, group team sites, uh, communication sites, individual uh, data items, things like that, as well as for 365 Teams, you can back up the entire Teams, Team Channels, Channel Files, Team Mailboxes, Files and Email Messages in the Team Mailboxes, Meetings and Team Sites. And then I can also back up the OneNote Notebooks, which I'll show you in a moment. Now, we'll go into Users here. And when you go into Users, you'll have the option to back up both the 365 Email and the 365 OneDrive. So we're going to go ahead and do grab all users here. You can back up everybody at the same time up to 2,000 per plan, uh, which will allow you to, as people are added to the organization, automatically back them up as well. You can also go in and back up just a couple, three. You can back up just individual folks as well. So let's do Albert Einstein here. We're going to go and back up. This is cloud to cloud agentless. Um, once it is uh, established, then you can just go in and create an add backup plan. And you can go in, we'll create a new one here. And it's going to back up everything inside of that Albert Einstein's mailbox. Uh, and you can see where I've mentioned before, one, 365 or OneDrive, you have to differentiate which ones you want to back up. It's going to go to our cloud storage in Acronis by default. You can do it once a day if you want to add the advanced pack features uh, for an extra fee. You can do it more often, twice a day, three times a day, or six times a day. We also have the same retention time, seven days, four weeks, six months. You can bring it down or up as needed to make that fit the customer's needs exactly. Also, we're going to back up the archive mailboxes on Albert Einstein's mailbox, as well as encryption, 128, 192, or 256. And that will allow you to um, give, make it very secure. We, and once again, we don't store that encryption password anywhere, so make sure you keep a hold of that uh, because we have no way to help you So, uh, if you do that. Now, to do a backup for OneDrive, we can just go back again and just kind of do the same thing and create new. And then in the drop-down menu, we're going to choose OneDrive, and then you can back up the, uh, excuse me, the um, all or just the, the subsets and, and files and folders that are part of those uh, those OneDrive accounts. Include the OneNotes as well to our cloud storage automatically once a day or more frequently if you want to use the advanced packs for a fee, and then as well as the uh, retention time that can be adjusted as needed for your situation. Encryption 128, 192, 256, and you're good to go. Next level is going to be for your uh, SharePoint sites. They're done right here. And you can back up these as the entire site. You can restore back the individual pieces. You can restore back the entire site, uh, as well as the teams. Same idea. You can back them up here and uh, do it in a group, uh, as well as just backup individual. Let's see here. We got testing. Do backup. And you got a backup plan. Then you can go through the who, what, where, and when. Microsoft Teams, include the OneNotes uh, to our cloud storage once a day or more frequently if you want to use the advanced pack features. Uh, and then how often you want to have them uh, taken out of the rotation so that you can save storage space as well as the encryption for all. And that is pretty much it in terms of the Teams, OneDrive, SharePoint, and email backups. Uh, very straightforward. And uh, we're going to get into another uh, demo in a moment that does the recovery process. And I'll show you that. Thank you very much. Have a great day.